The Springdale Fire Department giving 11-year-old Adam Leach an opportunity to learn about what it takes to be a hero. Jacob Luthi was there to capture it all and has more on how Adam went to having thousands of seizures every day to helping some of the city's finest with their work. Engine 1 respond. Fire 11 Avenue. He lives this. It's, I mean, at home, he lives as if he's one of the, the guys. He's a rookie. We tell him he's a rookie <laughs> right now, but um, he lives it. He, he wants to know everything about what they do. With the help of the Springdale Fire Department, 11-year-old Adam Leach had the opportunity to hang out with some of the city's bravest, and he fit right in. And this kid, he has really fought, and he's shown bravery uh, through his journey, trying to get better, not fully himself for his family as well and I mean for everything that that kid has gone through I mean it's it's a great day when I could see a smile on a, a kid's face like that we get to make his day. When Adam was just five years old he began having constant seizures causing him to spend days on end in the hospital. He had thousands thousands of seizures and on a good day it was hundreds. Mm -hmm. If he had them every two or three minutes that was a good day. Mm -hmm. So he's missed his first four year, or you know, kindergarten through four, third grade, he has missed all of that because he wasn't able to do much. So now we're playing catch up. Adam's family says he had a severe form of epilepsy. And after years of trying to find a solution, one finally came at Le Bonheur Children's Hospital in Memphis in the form of a craniotomy. They did a resection. They took a, like a cutie size orange out. And from the moment he woke up from surgery, it was as if it was a nap. He never had another seizure. Today marks 18 months of seizure freedom. Um, so this is a celebration. After meeting the Springdale Fire Department at National Night Out, the department knew they had to give Adam the opportunity of a lifetime. This is amazing. We gotta, we gotta let him come to the fire station, kind of come check things out. And he's just, he is a fighter. You know, and that's, is being a firefighter, you gotta have bravery, you gotta do. You got to do stuff that you're uncomfortable with doing sometimes to help the public out. And while Adam continues to make up for lost time, his family says that whether it's firefighting or surgery, Adam is fearless through it all. Jacob That's Luther, a nice thank story. you. Good stuff there. Great stuff. I was about that age, maybe a little younger than him. Uh, you know, all boys, little boys, want to be firefighters or mm -hmm. police officers. And then they grow up to be weathermen. That's a good job. Yeah, news anchors. Yeah. 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 Until people start to get on you about the heat or lack yeah. of rain or. We have a lot of weather uh, kids of the day coming yeah, here. We do. You know, wanted to be meteorologists. Uh, one, one even wanted to be a news anchor and a rocket scientist. <laughs> uh, 